Hi, welcome to another video. It's all about to build a laser engraver. As we know these two types of the module, today we will work on this one. Firstly, we'll check it's working, we'll take a look on how much power it's consuming, then we'll tear it down and see what's inside it. And then we're gonna modify it to make it burn something. As we know that this is only 5 milliwatt of power based module. That means it cannot provide any kind of heat to burn something. So I'll be using another laser diode to put it inside this module housing and throw its small power diode away so that I'll be able to do some engraving and maybe heating and burning my sticks. I did recently a mini Arduino CNC project, the post of which got featured on Instructables because I provided every data of that I had. So I may use this laser diode with that CNC to engrave designs. These laser modules are really very cheap and available on all famous online selling stores. I'll use my lab bench power supply which has both functions of limiting and adjusting voltage. If you also like to build such supply, follow link to that video in description. Let's disassemble it. Removing cap. Taking spring out. Now I can see the diode. All I have to do is to get rid of that. Hmm. I think I need to remove the sticker because I see the line which shows that I can unscrew it shell. Well, God knows how much force to that is required. Here I got my pliers and I'm using them to unscrew its shell. So it will be easy to take the 5 milliwatt original diode out. Hmm, it's easy. That is the tiny diode what I need to take out. I see the tiny circuit board which is used here to drive this laser diode has two SMD transistors and two resistors. I'm not interested in using it because I'm gonna test it on my lab bench part. These are spare laser diodes I took apart from some DVD ROMs I had. I see some of them are quite similar to the one used originally in the laser module. These DVD laser diodes are actually having heat sink made of aluminum surrounding them. I can cut that aluminum to take diode out. I can use hexa for that purpose. Now I desolder the flexible circuit strip using my soldering iron to make the terminal visible. This is the time I need to use hexa to cut the aluminium around it. It is the original diode I took out from this holder. 
Here I made a little cut and I will use my pliers to put some force to take the diode out. I successfully took out the diode. Let's see if it fits inside hole. Hmm, I think need some force. Uh, maybe need to use pliers. Here I turned off all of the lights to make it more visible. Got my protection glasses already. I'll make adjustment to set the focus of the laser. I'll be wearing current to control brightness of laser when making adjustments. Let's enjoy adjustment part of the video. After making a lot of adjustments, I finally can burn this matchstick. But remember that it's not a toy or pointed anymore. So be careful and always use your protection glasses and keep in mind all of the safety features. Thank you so much for watching this video. Consider supporting us by subscribe, like and share. There we have burnt it into ashes. Hope to see you next time. Hope to see you next time in another project with another video.